Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here, back again with another video. Today's an exciting video. We're back with another group submission. Um, this one was a small submission, but three, uh, six cards in total, three from the July under the modern category for value, and then the other three from August in the ultra modern value category. Um, frustrating thing with this one is that the express for the August one actually, uh, which you end up paying for, or you end up paying more for. Plus, as well, it should be faster. I actually got beaten by the value service. So, a little bit annoying there because I had like 30, 35 cards in that one, and I had like three cards in the um, in the value section where, yeah, like I could have easily just chucked the 30 cards in the value section and paid less, got my cards faster. So, but anyways, um, shout out to the Hobby Australia. If you guys don't know who that is, that's um psa submissions australia aka lane pierce um you know he's he organizes these group submissions so if you guys need any of these sorts of submissions give him um I'll, I'll link him down below in the description but check them check him out he's uh quite helpful with his with his service and he's very prompt with communication if you guys have any questions about it don't be afraid to shoot me a message or even yeah shoot lane a message he's always quite prompt with it so um, but anyways, um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing a face cam on this because I already know all the grades. I have been trying to resist looking at grades. Um, it's yeah, I I try not to, but when I when I get wind from Lane that the grades are able available for you, me to look at, I just look at it. So hopefully, with these bigger reveals, I'll try and um, do it blindly, and hopefully, you guys can see a better reaction. But yeah, for right now, I know all the all the grades, so. Let's start it off. Um, I'll go through what comps are and everything and what I paid and all that sort of jazz so um, you guys can uh, yeah, see how I went. But first card, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted uh, a card that got a seven. Um, yeah, I don't really think I've got a really, I don't really want to do a slow roll of this because it's, yeah, no point slow rolling it, but it is. Um, it is a Drew Brees press pass, uh, press pass near mint seven. So if you actually look at it through the front, looks quite good. <laughs> and then when I flipped it to the back, I was like looking, looking everywhere. And I was like, you oh, it's not even, not even too bad. So, um, you know, what am I really looking at? And then obviously if you can see there in the top left corner, that corner is just peeled back. So I don't know if I've just got bad eyes or if it got damaged during transit or something like that, but I'm pretty careful when I look at my cards. So yeah, for me to miss that, I must've just been just not really caring at all, but um, it's a Drew Brees rookie card, not in his pro uniform. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting this card for $9. Grading fee was $29. So total cost of $38 and the comp for a PSA seven is $20. So an $18 loss there, um, unfortunately, but all right, so next card up, we have 2002 Leaf Rookies and Stars Tom Brady. Got a PSA 9 on this one. So um, if you guys don't know, this is actually Tom Brady's second year card. Um, the first three cards are actually from Com C. So normally with Com C, it's a little bit hard to get a gauge on condition sometimes. But um, luckily, with the, well, the first card obviously wasn't the greatest way to show that, but the second and third card I did quite well on. So I actually got this card for $4. Grading fee was $29. So all up to $33 spend. And uh, the current comp for this is at $170. So uh, $137 profit on this card alone. Um, yeah, on a second year Brady rookie card, not a bad one. I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah. Moving on to the next card. Again, as you said, I did quite well on my first, my second and my third card. Um, but we have another Tom Brady, and that's a 2016 Optic, which is the first year of Optic. Um, Tom Brady, got a PSA 10 on this, very happy with this one. Um, I actually was, yeah, I was really particular when I was sending these one these ones in, because I I had like four of these, and I think there was this was the only one I thought would, would get a 10. Um, I got this card for $41, grading fee was $29, so $70 total spend. Uh, current comp for it is uh, $193. So, 
that's $120 in profit there. Quite happy with this. I do think it should be priced a little bit higher. So, especially with Tom Brady, I do think he's very underpriced right now because um, NFL offseason, no one, no one really cares about the NFL right now. It's, the focus is really on baseball and a little bit on basketball right now. So, I'll be looking to hold these a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, stoked with the grade there. And yeah. All right. Moving on to the next one. This one... Cameron Johnson, Prism, PSA 9. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I looked at it quite closely. It was hard to really fault it. Must be some sort of, yeah, scratch that I'm missing. But um, yeah, I got this card for a dollar. So um, unfortunately, the way Cameron Johnson's playing, he's not starting anymore. Coming off the bench, um, this, this card's actually had a negative for me. So $28, $24 uh, grading fee. So $25 total spend. Um, and the card currently goes for 20 bucks, so five dollar loss there, but I'm willing to hold it because I do like Cameron Johnson. Um, you know, teams are always going to like that 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 wing player who's a good like who can shoot threes really well. So um, I'm not afraid to hold this. And for 20 bucks, 20 25 bucks, it's just yeah, no point in me really selling it. So happy with that one. So this next one is really good timing um, as of today because he's been named to return. Uh, but if you guys have not had a guess yet, it's the man, Triple J. Uh, PSA 10 for the Optic. Super stoked with this one. I really like Triple J, and um, yeah, I'm glad that he's finally returning because his injury timetable was just, it could have been January, it could have been February, March, and now it's late April and he's finally returning. So um, this one was a, another a great buy. I got this one earlier on last year, but this one I got for $8.00. Grading fee was $24, and the current comp is $116. So uh, all up around $80 profit there, but again, I'm holding it because I think those prices are more reflective of the fact that um, people have forgotten about Jaron Jackson. He's been out for a while now, um, and I do think with him back, Ja Morant will get a bit of a boost there, and Memphis could challenge for that eighth seed possibly, and then that will cause prices to uh, go up. So, yeah. And then the last card for today for this small PSA sub submission, and it is Jonathan Isaac. So Prism PSA 9, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this, but I got this card for $10, grading fee was $24, so all up total spend of $34, and ended up, uh, the, the past sale for it is $30. So $4 loss there, but um, I'm willing to hold this one a little bit more long-term because I do think in the future, Jonathan Isaac will uh, be a potential defensive player of the year. He did look like it when he was playing last season um, in those games he did play, but he has been a bit injury-prone. So hopefully, um, you know, with time, this can pop off a little bit more. But yeah, I'm happy to uh, finally get this one back. So if you guys want to know how I went in the end, total spend was $232, including the card purchase and grading fee. Um, ended up, if I ended up selling right now, be $549 in sales, meaning that there would be a $317 profit. So that's quite, I'm quite happy with that, especially knowing that three of my cards sold for, will, will be negatives if I did sell, and then three cards that graded well obviously made up for that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think that's what you've got to weigh up sometimes, whether you've got to sell to turn over money or if you're willing to wait long term for cards to just really grow if you really do believe in the player. Um, that's something you've just got to weigh up sometimes. So, But yeah, as always, guys, I appreciate it if you guys have made it to the end. Give us a like and hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care, guys.